<laughs> what are you doing? Stop driver. What are you doing? Um, I don't know how they manage that. Hello, everybody, defense here, and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 here in Erlingrat. I don't know why I had to think there to remember what game I was playing, but it is unrelated. We are going to get this course started here. We're just going to let this guy do his job, or lady, sorry, we have a lady working for us today. And, well, I guess this field's getting live. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to start having workers prep the fields over here whilst we're working up top. I don't recommend walking through the lime fields. The, the lime dust, by the way, guys, is probably not very good for you. But, yeah, they're going to get this done in three and a half minutes. So that's not going to take very long. What we are going to do is get started up here. So we're going to plant some corn. We're going to go V. We're going to go. Whoop. Then we're going to go B. And we're going to start up here because I want to start getting these fields planted. And, you know, why not? You know, best time to start is now. So we're going to get it done. I'm honestly I have no idea how long it's going to take. They're a very odd shaped field, so it could take a bit. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop driver. What are you doing? Um... I don't know how they manage that. Well, I'm just going to do this edge here, and I'm just going to have a regular worker do it because I have no idea what just happened there. None at all. I don't know what they were doing, what the course was telling them to do, but it sure wasn't that. That should be just to the edge. Whatever. We'll deal with it. All right. Okay, now we can get back to doing this field because that's what we need to do. We're going to go B, and we're going to get started planting. So, as we were saying, we're going to get this stuff done. I think we're going to save the first harvest on each of these fields specifically for pig feed. And then we might just kind of start taking stuff from there and selling it. I am undecided. I don't think I need as much as my brain is thinking for pig feed. Um, especially if we do take the pig feed from the old pen. I know that's not normally something you can do, but we can do it if we would like. I can take it and move it directly into the new pig pen if we do decide to do that. I did talk about it in the previous episode, if you didn't see it. We're going to put a bigger pig pen, pigsty over here. And when we do, I want to... I'm considering moving all of the old food over to here because otherwise I just kind of leave those pigs there to do nothing but eat that food. And I really don't want to do that because that seems very wasteful. So, And the only other option is to sell the pig pen and just lose all that food. So, yeah, I don't really know what we're going to do. We're going to have to uh, make a decision, as I said, hopefully between... The previous episode and this one people have given opinions on it and we'll be able to work with it but right now i don't know so we're going to continue on and keep doing what we're doing the uh oh uh in between episodes i did add two small buildings down there they just look like empty sheds from here but those are the same two we have over in the main yard it is the it's where it's our buy points it's fertilizer lime uh seeds herbicide stuff like that it's all just in there so i'll have to go fill them up in a minute but i am in no rush to do that and i think that's the only thing we've added i moved the fertilizer up here because we're gonna need to fertilize these this actually once it's done will be fully fertilized which is fantastic that one over there i think i'm gonna fertilize before i plant it because it has an odd fertilization thing going right now um where is it right here yeah it's got like these two lines and then all in here is not done. And then this one needs a bit here and here. And then those will be done. And that's really what we're looking at for fertilizer up here. We're going to have to refill this thing. Uh, that's one of the other reasons I put the buildings up here is because it's not really a close place to buy fertilizer or anything like that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on over 
fix up the lime guy and just uh, come back and keep going on this. pretty much done uh, it takes almost a full load of seed in here to get this field done I don't remember how much we had at the start but it was probably a pretty decent amount we did miss a couple of spots we'll kind of get those as we go I don't know if I left it in the time lapse yet because obviously I haven't edited but that guy there just decided instead of doing that field he's just gonna go all the way up and back and I'm not bummed about it but at the same time it kind of defeats the purpose <laughs> so we'll have to take care of that I did end up setting up the other machine over there to cultivate that area mainly because liming was pretty much done I just did it was like three quarters of a strip left and the lime point was right there so I just bought it switched it out and got that guy going which was pretty easy to be honest it was nice and it's gonna be able to start planting yeah it just means we'll be able to start planting over there sooner which will be very good well, well let's fold that up we're not making it through sheep are doing good though we're gonna buy more today as i said i've been hemming and hawing over buying a trailer for transporting animals but i'm not gonna waste my time right now at least until we start doing pigs uh because we'll probably end up selling pigs whereas everything else it's just kind of like no we don't really need to uh, sheep, it's just going to be, they'll just breed and make more. Cows, they're going to breed and make more. I don't think I'll end up selling any of them. Uh, oh, it's this one right here. And we are doing the brown sheep. Um, one, two, three. Actually, let's see how much we can get for... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we'll go with ten. Oh, that was eleven. Not what I wanted to do. Boom, boom. Okay, there we go. Much, much more sheep. We'll have to give them food and water. Don't worry about that. Uh, what are we doing? It's still 80 hours, though. Oh, well, that actually take a moment to update, I think. Let's... Oh, you know what? We're not running time correctly. Let's kick that ahead. It's usually about 15 minutes before that stuff updates. So we'll give it another minute or two. Kick it back down to... Yoink. Five times, just to keep it safe. And we're down to 43 hours. So we almost cut the time in half by adding all of those. Again, we have to top all this off, but it's not going to be a huge deal. Boom. Simple there. Let's hop into over here. Yeah, we'll have to cultivate some stuff here, but stop driver. Actually, no, let's just fix that up real quick. Why not? Because they're going to get sent onto the next field anyway. We're going to head on over to the other field and start fertilizing. Because it's going to be something that needs to get done. And it seems the workers are not capable of doing it, so not really something I can just have them do I do have to remember to start recording courses I keep forgetting to which is I remembered like halfway through doing the course we were just doing planting the corn uh, that's when I remembered hey we actually uh, have to do this and well I forgot so it wasn't recorded hopefully on the next field I will remember 
and I want to fertilize the corn one first, and we'll get a track set in for that, and I'll have that saved. I think I'm going to call that one the bean field, because it looks like a really stretched out bean. It's the best way I can think to describe it in a way that'll uh, get me to remember it. The other two fields, uh, I think I already named one as field one. Um, I'll probably change that to pigsty field, because that's eventually going to become the pigsty where the pigs go. And then the other field will just be, I don't know. <laughs> I'll find a name for it eventually. So that's how it goes. If you guys have a name idea for it, let me know in the comments down below, as I was saying. Uh, we do have a big call for milk right now, but I don't have any cows actually producing milk, which is kind of a bummer. It seems to be the most common thing that's got blue tagged is the milk so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Look, and there we go. But yeah, so you can see that there. So uh, let's see, course generation, field 22. Yeah, the reason they broke when they were doing the lime, I never told them to do headlands, so I was just trying to go down, turn around, come back. Um, yeah, we'll just have to remember that for the future. Right, let's get this lined up real quick. And then we can hop on back up to the other field. Right, of course. All right, this is what I want. I do really like this spreader, by the way. I haven't really, we haven't really talked about it much. I've probably every time I've talked about it, I've said that I like it, but I think it's a really good spreader. It's gonna be able to get the job done real well. I kind of wish I had bought it in the first place, but the fact that it doesn't take lime is probably why i didn't buy it and it's got a lower capacity compared to the other one okay can i bring up let's see copy course so i don't already have a course set up for this one so it's going to be really easy just to get the fertilizer in uh it doesn't look like it's fertilizing the whole thing i know this is just going to be like points yeah so like right here and then this will get it up to the second mark, but I am still going to go through and fertilize the whole thing. Just so we can have a worker do it in the future. And as I said, it's not going to take us very long. The downside is it's going to be hard to recognize where I've been and haven't been because of the stuff. But I think we'll still be able to figure it out. All right, hard turn right here. just be able to go straight up the middle yeah because we reach both sides so this guy go up the middle all the way to the end and then stop save and we're gonna call this pig Hopefully, I remember what that means. <laughs> uh, let's see. Close that. Close that. And that was actually pretty easy. Now, I'm going to record for the next two fields and fertilize them. So, this one might take a little bit longer. So, I think, uh, again, the best way to view it is going to be in a time lapse. So, I'm going to get started on that. And I hope you guys enjoy. field cookie don't ask me why I just decided to call it cookie so now uh, let's actually close out of that I should uh, 
currently loaded course. There's got to be a way to do it. Course generation, calculate current fields, edge path, copy course. No. Huh. I don't know. I know there's got to be a way in here to, to, to use those courses. Whoop, nope, not what I wanted to do. But I honestly don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out off camera. But I now have to look at what I want to plant in this field. I was considering sunflowers, but we might have to do one of the other bits. So give me a moment. I want to see how the other vehicle is doing. And while we're doing that, I will uh, figure, out, figure out what we're going to plant. I figured it out, by the way, guys, for loading up the saved ones. You right click. And you go to world, and they're all saved right here. So I'll be able to use those in the future. We can actually get rid of that. Oh, hold on. Click the wrong button. Yoink. There we go. All right. We need to top off our sheep real quick. And I think this is going to be kind of the last thing we do before we wrap up today. I think we're at a good point. I have to plant one more field. And we'll be all good there. Up, turn, up, turn, forward, turn, up. There we go. What's that bring us up to? But yeah, we're at a good point. I think this is a good kind of breaking point. We can stop now, continue more in the next episode. Wow, we need like another 6,000 liters. Okay. I honestly thought I had plenty of... Hey, but I may have been mistaken. The upside is... Actually, 116,000 liters. We might do good. It's just that we have to move it a thousand at a time. Because, yeah, we can't dump into here with our trailer. Because it's too big. But, yeah. I'm just going to finish feeding up these sheep. Or feeding up these sheep. I'm going to finish feeding the sheep so that we can uh, get everything taken care of for them. But I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me play around with this thing. As I said, we're going to wrap up the episode here. Continue on in the next episode where we'll plant that next field. We're going to plant sunflowers and uh, and cookie over there. And then we'll probably end up sleeping. Yeah, we're looking at uh, almost 4 o'clock now in game. So by the time we finish that field, we'll probably sleep and then start planting the fields that are over there. Or we'll start harvesting. We'll probably have something ready to harvest by then. So, Again, that is next episode, though. Those are kind of the things we got up in the air. And uh, we'll figure it out as we go. So, I want to thank you for stopping in. I hope you have enjoyed. And I hope you all have a nice night, day, morning, evening. Whatever it is. Wherever you are. This is my defense. I hope to see you again soon. Peace.